In this lecture, we will talk about monosaccharide chemical reaction. These lectures are the part of my YouTube lectures of biochemistry, biochem lecture. My name is Dr. Alam Zeb. I am a professor at the Department of Biochemistry, University of Malacca. I did PhD from the Institute of Biochemistry, Graz University of Technology, Austria. The contents of this presentation includes the study of chemical reactions of monosaccharides. But, the, but this video will not include a colored reaction which will be discussed in a separate video. Now, reactions of monosaccharides. These reactions are based either the presence of functional groups, that is ketones or aldehydes, or polyhydroxides, that is a hydroxyl group. Uh, you can see these are the two important functional groups. Uh, this one, uh, this one is the ketonic functional group. while this one is a, an aldehyde group. So these two are the reactions are mostly based on this. Uh, the first reaction is uh, reduction reaction. Uh, carbonyl of aldose or ketosis, they can be uh, reduced to hydroxyl group by sodium tetrahydroborate or hydrogen and nickel. The name of the sugar alcohol uh, is usually uh, presented in the form of itol to the root name. For example, uh, the reaction includes the reduction of D-glucose to D-glucitol, commonly called sorbitols. And um, similarly, fructose is uh, reduced to another type of glucitol and a mixture of glucitol and mannitol. This is the reaction which is usually occur in the presence of hydrogen and nickel and glucose is converted to glucitol or sorbitol. Uh, second reaction is oxidation reaction. Oxidation occur by several uh, regions. For example, bromine water oxidizes aldehyde but not ketones or alcohol. Uh, this forms aldonic acid. You can see this reaction aldehyde is converted uh, to uh, the acids in then, for example, glucose is converted to uh, gluconic acid in the presence of um, bromine water. Nitric acid, similarly, nitric acid oxidizes the aldehyde and the terminal alcohol forms aldehyde acid. You can see this alcohol part is uh, oxidized to uh, these two alcohol per alcohol and aldehyde part is oxidized by nitric acid to form uh, uh, aldehyde acid which, uh, which has both carboxylic acid groups. The second reaction is glycoside formation. Glycosides are usually the derivatives of sugars. Uh, sugars the, or monosaccharide reacts with alcohol in the acidic medium. Uh, since the open chain sugar is in equilibrium with its hemiacetal, both enomers, that is alpha and beta at the acetal are formed. While a glycan is the term used for the group bonded to hydroxyl groups, this we need to remember that a glycan is the part which is bonded to the hydroxyl group. And here these are the two examples. Uh, which the, the um, glycosides may be either methyl glycosides or maybe nucleosides. Next reaction is ether formation. Sugar are difficult to recrystallize from water because of their high solubility. But uh, when we convert all hydroxyl groups to uh, ether groups, 
by using a um, modified Williamson synthesis method after converting sugars to acetal uh, uh, ether are formed and these ether are stables uh, in and th this reaction is similar to that of the uh, glycosides so this is a special ethers which are more stable in from crystals usually now the next reaction is ester formation ester are usually uh, mm, formed by the acetic anhydride with pyridine catalyst that converts all oxygen to acetate ester you can see here the furanose is converted to mm, uh, methyled uh, furanosides and ester is formed next is osazone formation mm, in the case of sugars both c1 and c2 react with penile hydrazine forming osazone You can see in this reaction aldose as well as ketose they are converted to osazone and only the first C2, uh, C1 and C2 are uh, re reacted with the uh, phenylhydrazine and the rest of the molecule is uh, unaffected. Next is the rough degradation reaction. This is very important reaction. Aldose chain is usually shortened by oxidizing aldehyde to carboxylic acid and then decarboxylation. So the glucose is uh, in the presence of bromine water is uh, oxidized to gluconic acid and then iron sulfate in the presence of iron sulfate in hydrogen peroxide carbon dioxide is lost in we obtain arabinose. So this is used for shortening the six carbon change to five carbon atom.